Hey, what's up? I'm Beth and this is Star Makeup. And today we are going to try almost the entire e.l.f. mint collection. Um, so I've got the brush trio. I got two of the lip glosses, um, both of the little mini palettes, two of the shadow sticks, pretty much all of the skincare products and the little cleansing cloud. Um, I am also wearing almost an entire face of e.l.f. products today. Um, just a couple little things that I was missing. Um, so yeah, I am going to demo everything for you. Um, I'm going to do this eye look with you and then I will go into all of the other products and insert the demo footage, let you know my thoughts about them, the prices for everything. Um, so if you would like to know about this cute little mint collection and you would like to see how I created this eye look, then just keep watching. Okay, so we are going to try out the two little eyeshadow palettes. Um, I am going to try to use both of them. And I also picked up the like matte light green um, shadow stick and the one that's kind of like a light shimmer shade. So I'm going to try to incorporate these in too. Um, and I also got the brush set. So that is what I'm going to use. I think I'm actually going to start off with the green shadow stick. And I'm going to use it kind of like a primer. I do already have the um, e.l.f. I can never remember what this thing is called and it doesn't say it on the tube. Um, it's just like the e.l.f. eye primer. Um, but I'm going to try this to see if it would work as like an eyeshadow primer. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run that through my crease a little bit and then I'm gonna take this brush this is um oh, it's a crown brush I remember that much I got it in an ipsy bag and there's like nothing written on it anymore if there ever was um and I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit and like I said I mean I'm just doing this as kind of an experiment to see if you could use these as like your base. Obviously I, I definitely wouldn't want to do it with the shimmery shade, maybe on your lid, but I figure the green will be a nice base because I'm gonna go in with that light green so i'm hoping maybe this will kind of intensify it a little bit because when i swatched it 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 is pretty light i'm gonna start off with this smaller one um it doesn't oh no it does okay so this is an eye contour brush and I'm going to start with this dark green shade first and I'm going to work that into my outer corner and I am going to bring it like into my crease a little bit but I really want to focus it more on this outer corner. Okay, so that laid down on top of that um, shadow stick pretty nicely. I'm going to take this bigger fluffy brush and this is the blending brush and I'm going to pick up that light green shade and I'm going to start that in the inner corner and then just kind of slowly start bringing that 
out to the outer edge. Just, I want the majority of that pigment to be in the inner corner there to just really lighten it up and just kind of blend that darker shade out a little bit. So these brushes are actually working really nice. Um, one critique that I would have is that I kind of wish the handles were a little bit longer. I'm going to go back in with this brush and I am going to pick up just a little bit more of that deeper shade on the brush. And then I'm going to go back in with this one. No additional product. I'm going to switch over to the more brown one for the lower lash line. I'm going to use the pointed end of that brush that I used with that um, shadow stick. And I just picked up some of that dark brown and then tapped my brush off. And I'm just going to pack that into the outer portion of my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna use this one, which is the eyeshadow brush. <laughs> and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that lighter brown. And I'm gonna start in the inner portion and just kind of work on blending that deeper shade out. I'm going to clean the brush off in between so that way I'm not just moving that dark shade around. I want it to stay like pretty much where it is. Of course I'm going to cut my lid out because that's just what I do. <laughs> I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer and this is a Lorella brush. The numbers have worn off on it though. It's kind of like the ColourPop E3. Of course I'm going to do same thing that I always do. Just tap that across my lid and then go right around my eye. And I use less glitter primer than I normally do. So I always feel like I just go in with too much and this time the brush just feels really dry. <laughs> I feel like I can't win. I just can't get the, the amount that I need right. I'm going to take the darker green shimmer from this palette and I'm going to put that in the outer portion. I'm going to wipe that off and then I'm going to go in with the green from this palette. And I'm going to put that next to other green and then I'm going to take the light shade from this palette and I'm going to put that in the inner portion. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that lighter green that's in the middle and just kind of tap over where that meets the other shades. And then I'm going to do the same thing with that darker green. And I hope you can see on camera, um, at least on my eye, I know you would have been able to see in the swatches. Well, I don't know. I hope you're gonna be able to see in the swatches because I haven't edited that footage yet, but I did do comparison swatches, which you should have already seen. <laughs> so you could see that there are differences between these different shimmer shades. Cause I mean, when I got the palettes and I looked at them, I was like, whoa, I don't know that there's really gonna be much difference, but there, there is. I pick up a little bit more of that like cream kind of shade and just make sure that that's nice and intense. I'm going to take this shimmer eyeshadow stick and I'm just gonna put that in like the front portion of my lower lash line and I think I'm gonna take this brush and clean it off. Just kind of fade it in 
a little bit. I'm going to clean that same brush off again. And I'm going to take this really icy green and I'm gonna put that in my very, very inner corner next to my tear duct. And I might use one of the shadow sticks as a liner. I'm gonna try anyway. I can't guarantee that it's gonna be possible, but we are gonna try. So that is the eye look. Um, I'm going to go off camera, recreate this on the other eye, do all my other details, and I will be right back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is almost the completed look. Um, I figured I would try out one of the lip glosses with you guys. Um, I did try this one. This is the A Hint of Mint before I started filming. And these are supposed to be like plumping glosses. And if you don't like plumping glosses that are like really stingy, you will not like this one. Now obviously I haven't tried this one yet, but when I put this one on, I mean, it was like intense stain. It didn't last a very long time, but it was quite intense. Um, so this one is the mint sprinkle shade. Um, I decided that I didn't want to do either one of the like kind of brown tinted ones because I've got plenty of like normal lip colors and I would rather have like a more clear gloss to put on top of something. So I decided that I didn't want to get those. That looks super cute on top of that lip color. Ooh, I really like that. Now, I don't know... Oh, nope, wait, there it is. The stinging has just started. Um, this one doesn't seem to be quite as intense. That might be because I have lip products on before I put that on. Um, but yeah, it is getting pretty tingly. Um, okay, so I did... I tried this one. Um, this is the ice cream shade of the shadow stick. That one wouldn't stick to my waterline. I don't know why, maybe because it's a shimmer. Um, but then I tried this one, the mint for you, and that one did stick. So that's what's in my waterline. Um, my lashes are actually from e.l.f. They're the faux mink lashes in the style Troublemaker. Um, I have mostly a full face of e.l.f. on. <laughs> um, I used the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Velvet Smoke. And then I topped it with the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the shade Tea Rose. And then obviously, like I said, I did this Mint Sparkles Gloss on top. Um, so yeah, um, let me run through all of the products and what I have thought of all of them. I will also give you prices on everything. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with the glosses. So these are $4 a piece. There are these two styles and then there's like a lighter brown and a little bit of a darker brown. Um, like I said, very stingy. Like I'm actually still feeling the tingling right now. So they are pretty intense. If you don't like that type of plumping gloss, I would not recommend these. Um, the little mini melt eyeshadow palettes. These are $4 a piece too. The mattes are super creamy, really blended super easily. 
Um, full disclosure, I forgot to use the shadow stick in my crease like I did on this eye, on this eye. Um, and as you can see, that shadow still did full pigmentation, no problem whatsoever. So there you go. Even though it does look really light in swatches um, on the eyes, it actually comes off really nice. Um, the shimmers are like super good quality, just like all of the other mini palettes that e.l.f. has done. Really, really good. Definitely worth $4. Um, the shadow sticks. Um, I think these are really nice. Um, they are definitely something that I will pick up and use. Um, especially that green one since I can use it in my waterline and I mean I got when I was doing my waterline on this side I got a little bit of it in my lashes and like did other things and then when I went to put my lower lash mascara on I could not get the comb through the lashes because that stuff had dried down and like wouldn't budge. So when they say no budge eyeshadow stick, I think they mean it. <laughs> so once it dries down, I'm pretty sure it's going to stick. Um, so yeah, I think those are great. Those are $5 a piece. Um, the brushes all come together. Um, you saw me use them. They blended everything out really, really well. Um, are they going to be my favorite brushes? Probably not, but they certainly do the job. Um, and these are $8 for the trio. Um, I will insert some footage of me using some of these other products. Um, so we've got the cooling cleanser. So I filmed me using this before I did this look. Um, it was actually really nice. It foamed up. Um, it has like a little bit of a mint scent to it. My skin felt really nice and clean after I got done using it. Um, I think this is actually a really good cleanser so far just on first impression. And that is $8. And then we've got this whipped face mask. Um, I like the result that I got after I took it off. Um, my face felt, you know, like deep cleaned. There was a little bit of a tingle while it was on my face. It did dry down like unusually fast for a face mask and in the footage you can see when I was trying to apply it I couldn't get like full coverage on my face and because I have large pores when I put a face mask on I put it on like thick because I want to know that it has gone into my pores and I have an even coating covering my face and it just wasn't possible with that. It is, you can even feel it because I don't use my hands to put on masks so like with the mask applicator that I use I could feel the whipped texture of it without even touching it myself. Um, just as it like, as I was wiping it across my face, you can just feel that it's kind of like light and fluffy. I don't know that that's like my favorite formula, um, but I did like the result that I got from it. Um, so first impression are pretty good. Um, and that is also $8. And then we have the cooling primer. Um, I actually think that is a really good product. Um, I've never used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, but I imagine when applying this 
that's what the hydro grip would feel like. It felt very sticky. Like when I put my hands together and then went to rub it on my face, it felt really, really sticky. But then as I was working it into my skin, the stickiness went away and it didn't feel, it didn't feel like silicone or anything like that. I really can't describe what it's like because it goes from this very sticky kind of texture to just like melting into your skin. And I really like the way that my foundation looked over top of it. Um, I really, really can't wait to continue using this primer. And that is also $8. Um, then the last thing that I picked up was the little cleansing cloud. Um, I haven't used this yet. I will when I take off my makeup and I will insert footage of me using it. Okay, we're gonna try this cleansing cloud out. I've never used one of these before, so I don't know. So I just put like some pretty hot water on it because I figured walking from my bathroom to here it would cool down a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems to be taking all of my face makeup off quite easily. And I mean, you can see it all on there. So that's actually kind of nice. I mean, obviously I'm still gonna like double cleanse, but to not have to rub that cleansing balm all over my face would kind of be nice. It's especially going to be nice for like my hairline because I always end up with a bunch of cream products like in my hairline. So that'll be cool. All right, so it did take off my brow product pretty easily. And I mean, you can see the start of the eyeshadow. Let's see how it does where I have the glitter primer. Now it says anywhere that you have like heavy makeup to kind of let it sit for a minute before you like wipe it away. So, I mean, it did pretty freaking good, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I might still have like mascara kind of stuck on there, but that's not a big deal. Like I said, I'm gonna cleanse my face anyway. So that's pretty cool. I'm really curious about the lip product. Oh, it's gonna remove that too. So yeah, I mean, it did pretty good with the eye makeup. It's always really hard to get like my very inner corner though. <laughs> cool, so it did pretty well on that. All right, let me uh, get my chin real quick and down my neck. Obviously, I waited to do my lips until last because I didn't want to be rubbing lip product all over the place. Yeah, it took that off nicely too. So, um, I believe this was $8 also. This might have been cheaper though. Yeah, so this was four dollars so for four dollars and i mean it says that it's reusable like 200 times all you do once you've taken all your makeup off is you just clean it you know in the sink with your hands just put some soap on it and some hot water and rub it and everything will come out and then you just use it again the next day so um yeah, I think that's really cool. And of course it's mint colored, so it's adorable. I have a thing for mint, so. <laughs> um, okay, so that's it for the cleansing cloud.
so yeah i think that is everything um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel if you do ring the notification bell that way you get notified every time i post a new video you can hop over to instagram and follow me over there everything will be listed in the description box down below and i will catch you in the next one